Hello Tankers! We have a lot of news to share today, let's go! We haven't had this section of the vlog for a while. Here are 5 of the hottest questions from the community. Let's start with the first one. Sabachka asks, can you add an option to choose what equipment is allowed when you create a pro battle? Quite often I want to play with my friends with Viking of Asp and Thunder or Freeze on my favorite polygon map. However, it also often happens that one of us decides to enter the battle with some OP combination like Paladin and Tesla and ruin all the fun. We haven't had a question about Wasp and Firebird mod for a while. It won't help anymore if I try to explain why it in this mod has the game. Perhaps it will make more sense if we actually add it to the game and you will see for yourself how it has the game. What do you think? Is it worth it to add this mod to the new pro battles? TST085 asks, don't you think that on some maps one team side has more opportunities to win than the other one? It definitely works this way in the assault mode where a base one team needs to defend is right in the middle of a map. Do you have plans to change it? We will consider changing the location of each team's bases while remastering maps. As for the current version of maps, we do not plan to change anything. Topstar asks, Hello, why is there no discount on the 4th protection module slot during events? We were never going to set discounts for protection module slots, as it is impossible to enable discounts for them because they simply do not exist. To counter this problem, we have designed it so that you can get these slots at a much cheaper price from special offers or by participating in events. Valexand asks, will it be possible to change the color of each house lights? It would be cool to choose the appropriate color for your paint. Unfortunately, the color of lights is hard-coded in the house skin. However, we will consider the idea of having different light colors for different skin sets, so that you will have different options to choose from. Device asks, will you add the number of damage a player deal to the tab screen? Maybe we will add it to the stats table that you see after a battle. There is already too much to show on a tab screen. Additionally, such information won't be useful after the end of the battle either. We continue our experiments with game modes during events. Yes, we have something even more interesting than flying hopper strikers. We are working on a team version of the arms race mode. You'll be able to check it out next weekend. So, how does it work? You still get Smokey as the first turret, and to get a new one, you need to destroy three tanks. But now, points are counted for a whole team. This means that the team that has a player with the B0NK who destroyed the required number of tanks wins. Near the battle timer, you can see the progress of your team and opponents. If a score is 7-10 in favor of your opponents, it means that there is at least one hammer in their team and at least one ricochet in yours. As for this week, we have decided to delight you with a discount weekend. Today there are sales in the shop, tomorrow in the garage, and on Sunday you can micro-upgrade your items and speed up the upgrades at lower prices. Boosted funds and experience in battles, as well as the daily tank coins pass special offer in the shop, leaves you no chance to want to skip this weekend. Moreover, the beloved Hover and Striker mode is back on four different maps this time. Madness, Highways, Skyscrapers and Future. Have a nice discount weekend, tankers! Let's talk about Scorpion. You all know that the turret is an early access stage now. There are so many videos on YouTube showing pros and cons of this novelty. Many of you mentioned that if you launch a salvo of rockets at an opponent who is on the other side of a map, it often happens that the tank gets destroyed earlier than your rockets manage to reach it, and the rockets just fly away to the sky. Not only do you miss a frag, but also the salvo's reload takes a lot of time. To make things better, we decided to improve these mechanics. Rockets will now be flying to the point where the tank was destroyed and may deal damage to other opponents. Are you even more excited to get the turret now? Yes, matchmaking will finally get night versions of your favorite maps. Hazel has managed to prepare 10 of them. Alexandrovsk, Bardak, Bobrusk, Berlin, Brest, 
Bridges, Chernobyl, Chernushka, Cologne, and Kronz. Our next plan is to make night versions of all maps. Moreover, there might even appear evening versions too, with a beautiful sunset and really long shadows. We think that they will look gorgeous. For an even better experience, do not forget to enable dynamic lighting in the settings. We have just a minute to tell you about eSports and it's already started. Let's go! Vivat Twitch, Vivat! The eSports Matches livestream platform has been moved from YouTube to Twitch, and it seems that you're happy about it. The number of viewers has significantly increased. If you do not have a Twitch account, create one as you will definitely need it soon. Team Pointers or Dreamers, Toxic or ATB, today we will find out which two teams will proceed right to the champion stage to fight for the cash prize, a portion of the tanky font, and unique paints among other prizes. The others will need to win one more match to proceed to the next stage. Two of the 16 teams have already been eliminated from the tournament. Do you want to find their names? Go to our updated eSports website. You can also send an application if you want to find a team or create your own one. Maybe your squad will manage to fight for hundreds of thousands of rubles next time. Whoa, we did it! Last time, you had to guess which tank had the Defender drone equipped. The correct answer is D. Congratulations to the winners! And here is the next question. That's all for this week. Hit the thumbs up button if you watched this episode on Friday. We are open to your ideas and suggestions. Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to submit your answers to the question of the week via the special form in the description of the video. Subscribe to the channel and see you next week. Bye.